Hello, welcome. Okay, there's this story of how a driver, a, a higher driver that normally drop off children to school in the morning, the, the driver comes to pick them up from their parent house and drop them in their school, you know. But unfortunately, this guy will drop off the two younger ones and, first, and sleep with the older one before he drops her to school. Okay, let me read it. Um, this story, okay. He used to park the car near the gates, near the school's gates and defy her. What trusted, what trusted driver did to a kid? Okay, I want to read that it out. One family from Marubu in Kasrana, Nairobi, that's in Kenya, is seeking justice after their 12 year old daughter was abused. It is alleged that a private driver who the parents had hired to be taking their kids to school has been defiling the girl. The rock driver who has been identified as Anthony Kiamani was today taken to court. A report from hospital also shows that the girl had been defied. Okay, the girl's mom, mother, says that after she visited the school, she found the class teacher, the school head teacher, and, the, and her daughter in the office. She says she was shocked since she did not know why she had been called to school. The mother explains that her daughter disclosed that the driver has been forcing himself on her. I had given a contract to driver Kiamen to be taking my kids to school in the morning. The kids said that the driver has been defiling her. The girl's mother stated. This test shows that the, this incident has been going on since December last year, 2021. It images that the driver had developed a habit of forcing himself on the school cage. This test shows, this test say that the man had defied the tree, defied the kid three times. The driver has been forcing the acts, the, sorry, the driver has been doing the acts inside his Toyota Nuan, which he had been using to drive the kids to school. He has been picking up the kids around 7 a.m. On arriving at school, he could drop his little sister and the rest. He could then get out of the gate with the kid and he would park by the roadside and defy the child before returning her to school. The guest mother. The mother added that she could receive numerous calls from the class teacher that her daughter was arriving at school late almost every day. However, the mother thought this teacher had a problem with her kid and only to, only to find that later that her daughter was being defied by the driver. Okay, that's all the news. That, that was all as it is as it was on the news sorry okay what are we talking about now the safety concerns okay. the giving out children to people to take them to school you know, is not it's not actually that severe yeah. if okay if you actually want to this driver to be taking your children to school you can as well go along with them yeah. the driver comes you in that you know and drop them off, especially when when they are opposite um, sets. Yeah, but it, it's, somehow the homosexual thing is uh, coming up in our country. That is by the way. Okay, see the these kids. You know, uh, what's in about kids? They are very fearful. When someone threatens them, don't don't tell your mother. If you tell your mother, I'll kill you. A child is never. The child will never because they are, you know, 
at that age, they are used to beating, be beating all the time, you know, any small thing, they are being spanked, you know, stop this. So, so the pain of being, you know, uh, the pain of that beating, flogging and all that is already in them. So they try not to make anybody that, um, they try to avoid anything that makes someone want to come and beat them. So that's my children. So, so why am I saying this? Always protect your child. Watch out when your child are not okay with somebody. Yes, if they are not okay with someone, please try as much as possible to make sure that they don't stay with that person. Because if you go on and on to ask this woman one question, you find that this particular girl will not like, will be showing some nasty behavior towards this man anytime he comes in um, to pick them in the morning. Maybe she will be the last to come out. You just that there are some body language that you should be working out, watching out for in your child, especially when they see someone. They may not be able to open up um, to you because they have been threatened. But watch out their body language. And when they, anytime you see that a child is not comfortable with anybody, make sure, please, that you 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 take away that any association of, um, to, um, from that child to that person. Cut it off. There is something wrong. Yes, because if you go on to investigate this matter. You find that this girl, anytime he sees this man, he will frown. He will not want to, you know, enter his, his car. He will not want, and the mother will not go, go. Please always pay attention to children reaction. It's very, very important. Children, if you beat them, they don't hate you. They don't, um, they will cry at that moment. They will forget about it because you, you but when you are abusing them, especially sexual, if you are abusing them sexually, sexual abuse, they tend to hate you and they will show it to you. Even when you call them, they will run away, you know, all these things, you know. But parents, there are some adults that will come, hey, where is um, your baby now? Bring him. The baby is running away. You say, come, uncle is calling you. No, don't do it. That uncle, that child has a reason for running away from that uncle. Yes. Always look at the children's body language. Protect them. Don't just overlook things. Don't say that they, they are children. Most children, they pass through a lot here in our society because nobody pays attention. And they cannot talk because of the, they are being threatened by the, the, the person that is abusing them. By the abuser, and they will not be able to say out what they are passing through. Always watch out for their body language. Always watch out their their mood when they see a particular person, and take it serious. Don't just see that eh, he's, she's stubborn. She doesn't just like no something was wrong somewhere because a child does not just they don't just hate. You know, they say the kingdom of God is like, if you want to enter the kingdom of God, you have to be like a child. You know, children, if you beat them, after crying, they'll still come back to you. Yes. Man, they are coming back to you because, it, because they have forgotten about that one, about uh, that you beat them. Because, and then, then they said, they, know, they knew that you beat them because they did something wrong, that you are trying to make them a better person. They will not hate you. But when a child starts avoiding someone, please, parents, parents, look into it. Look into it. And don't just give out your children to strangers, you know, to take them to school. Just like that. You just um, give them away like that. Just be careful. Monitor who you are giving your child to. And know at a time when they start, you know, and if they ask, if they start to withdraw themselves from that person, please pay very good attention to it. Cut off that relationship. Stop, stop that person from taking them to school. Stop that take, that um, person 
um, from India now. Stop that person, cut off the um, um, the person from their life entirely. If there is a reason, they may not tell it to you. There is a reason. Please, let's save these children so that they can be confident in future to stand up and be better people in our society. It's very, very unfortunate that this girl has through this, and so many other children are still witnessing it. Please, you cannot leave your bag that is full of money with a stranger. You cannot come and I call a taxi driver. Please, come and carry this money. Go and deposit in bag for me. A taxi driver. So why why take why calling a taxi driver to take your child to school? That is more precious than the money. See, you see how we prioritize things. We the things that money cannot buy, we just give it that. But the ones, the money that you can make, even if you lose them, you hold it so tight. Why? Because these children, they are precious to us. Money cannot buy them. Protect them. And take all these safety precautions. Make sure that your children are in safe hand, even if it's in school. You see them not being in comfort. And don't think that a, a teacher hates your child. That teacher has been telling the mother, okay, no, nah, the teacher has been telling the mother this girl comes to school to late. And the mother, for one day, have not, as in, you know, move, move from her comfort zone to go and find out why is this child going to school late? At least one day. After you give them out to the man, go to um, follow up immediately into another vehicle and go maybe after 10 minutes and see whether what the teacher was complaining, whether it's true or not. But you felt that the teacher hates. Maybe no. I don't, I don't think any. I have been a, um, a pupil and so I have been a student. I don't think a, a teacher will just hate a child just like that. Please. Let's take their complaints seriously. Let's take them because they stay with these children. They more than the time the teachers stay with these children is more than the time you stay with them. Yes. So when they say something, take it serious. Don't take it that they hate the child. No, please, please, please. Thank you for watching. Share it to your loved ones so that people will learn from this incident to make our world a better place. And all, always subscribe. So that I get notification when I, I drop new videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for